Friends, today is Tuesday, December 27, 2022. Mm. Wonderful cup of tea today. Black uh, English breakfast tea with a little milk and today a little bit of sugar to get things going. Uh, I'm going to read to you uh, a bit of more of the story of the Magi, the wise men who came from the East. We're going to start with verse 3 to catch ourselves up today. And we're going to move on to uh, to see that the wonderful openness of the wise men who were not afraid to ask questions. They were scholars. Uh, they followed this star to to see this uh, event that they believed. They believed that the cosmic world and the historical world were connected, and God used that belief to draw them from the east out. They but they asked the question. Here here it is. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born. The wise men came from the east, and they asked in Jerusalem, Where is the child who's been born king of the Jews? We've observed his star and have come to pay him homage, to honor him. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, all Jerusalem with him. By the way, that's a little gentle way that Luke is referring to the fact that Herod was a terrible man. And when he was upset, everyone else tended to be upset, because when he was upset, he was unpredictable and vindictive and violent. And particularly when he felt he was threatened, he killed members of his own family, one of his favorite wives, anyone he thought might be a rival. He's very, uh, maybe perhaps a little paras- paranoid and certainly homicidal. Uh, at his death, uh, famously, he, he had a bunch of people killed so that he could guarantee that at the moment of his death, uh, people would be in mourning. Uh, just a brutal kind of guy. And so when he got upset, people got upset anticipating what might happen. And uh, so he called together the chief priests and scribes and inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. And they said, in Bethlehem of Judea, so it was written by the prophet, that Bethlehem in the land of Judah is not least among the rulers, for from you shall come the one ruler who will shepherd the, my people Israel. Herod secretly called then for the Magi, and he learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. He's trying to date the birth of the child. He's trying to make sure that uh, during the time they've traveled, the child hasn't been born because he has an evil plan in mind. And then he sent them to Bethlehem, and he said, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you found him, bring me word so that I may also go and worship him. We hear later in verse 12 that after they'd found the child, they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod, and they left there for their own country by another road. I'm reminded by this story that openness is not the same thing as gullibility. The magi, the wise men, were open to direction. They consulted. They asked questions when they reached the limits of their knowledge. The person who is willing uh, to learn, however, must also be careful not to be deceived by what they're told. Wisdom seeks others' expertise, but it is never uh, uh, naive concerning their motivations. The wise men uh, do get help from the court of Herod, but they don't believe that this king, who was infamous for his brutality, really wants to worship the Messiah. They're suspicious about that. The indication of his falseness was the secrecy, right? He met them secretly. Herod's desire to murder the Messiah would have been scandalous to any Jew. And the Jews were waiting for the Messiah. And the thought that the Messiah would arrive and Herod would kill him would, would have horrified a Jew. And so that's why he's, he's meeting them in secret. And so the wise men do not fulfill their commission. They go home by an alter, alternative route and they avoid Herod's, Herod completely. Uh, we Christians have to be not only as innocent as doves, but also as wise as serpents. We have to ask questions, but we have to evaluate the information that we're given very carefully so that we're not used by others for their uh, sometimes secret and uh, evil purposes. So I want to ask you, as you look at your own life, your own attitudes, are you trusting or cynical? Are you careful in dealing with advice, those who advise and, um, and, and requests? Have you ever been unintentionally used? Let's take a moment and pray. Gracious God, help us to be innocent as doves, open and humble and gracious in the way we listen, the way we honor others, uh, the way we consider others' viewpoints, but help us also be wise as serpents 
so that we can identify and resist evil. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.